my topic this lecture is uh, how to treat ICU cavernous aneurysm. Okay. Okay, this is ICU cavernous giant aneurysm cases. Do you think this aneurysm is treated too difficult or not? Okay. Well, this is um, ICU. Uh, two days before cases, <laughs> very, very, very difficult. Also, this is yesterday, MCA thrombogenic cases. Also, okay, like this aneurysm, much difficult because we must approach directly to aneurysm. Okay, but I think cavernous aneurysm, no need to approach directly to aneurysm. Okay, the answer is very simple. Okay, high, high flow bypass. Okay, you see, I mean, you see, array was saphenous vein, M2 graft bypass, along with just cervical IC occlusion. Okay, we can treat IC cavernous giant like this approach. Recently, pipeline or no, no, stent device is useful, but not all cases. Okay, but we can treat surgically okay, high flow bypass along with IC cervical radiation. Okay, if we can perform high flow bypass, this treat of this cavernous is not so difficult. Okay, okay these are 73 cases high flow bypass and IC radiation. Okay. And then gradually thrombos and disappeared. This is two years girls. Left side of ice cabinet giant. Okay. Also, we can treat high flow bypass and ice irrigation. This case is also okay. Usual aneurysms, if the size became bigger, the surgical risk is also became much more. Okay, surgical risk increase. Okay, if the aneurysm size is big. Okay, but carbon sense aneurysm don't approach directly. Okay, only high flow and IC occlusion. Okay, so size is not so surgical risk. Okay, so surgical indication is a only symptomatic cases. Okay, usually present with eye problem, diplopia, ptosis, sometimes facial pain because of fifth nerve compression. Okay, so small size, asymptomatic cases, no need to treat, just enough conservative. Okay, but if the patient symptom occurred, Okay, we must perform surgery as soon as possible. Okay, before the symptom become irreversible. Okay, no symptom, small cases, no need to treat. Just observation is enough. Okay. Okay. For the high flow bypass, there are two policies. Okay, one is a selective approach. It means perform in the only selective case according to the balloon occlusion test. The other is the universal approach. Okay, it means perform all cases if I see a sacrifices. Okay, I take a position universal approach. Okay, because balloon occlusion test is not reliable. Sometimes to fail. Okay, false negative case. Also, there is a possibility of the formation of the DNA of aneurysm because of the hemodynamic stories, especially in young patient. Okay, so I recommend universal approach. This is the preparation. Okay, surgical field, head, neck, and forearms. Okay, usually I have best affected side because draping is more easy. 
Okay, but we must confirm the collateral pathway of the forearm before surgery. Okay, using 3D CT, DHA, or RN test. Do you know RN test? Okay, we must confirm collateral pathway. Okay, if the collateral pathway is not good, poor collateral, we must have it opposite side of a saphenous vein. Okay, it's important. Okay, also oh, for the safety surgery, okay, most and complicated risk of this surgery is occlusion of the graft. Okay, graft trouble is the most major complication. Okay, so we select the submandibular root. Okay, this part is a brine. Okay, so the kinking or twisting of the graft of this part is a major problem. Okay, so we must take care of the graft root, how to create a good graft tunnel. Okay, this is how to create a graft tunnel. Okay, it's my techniques. Okay, from the cranial side, the root is an anterior part of underneath the diagrammatic arch. Okay, just insert the carry cramps. Okay, no dissect. Okay, because of some bleeding. Just insert. Okay, anterior part of underneath of the diagrammatic arch. Okay, need just lateral to lateral pterygoid muscle. Okay, just insert until here. Okay, from the cranial side. Okay, it's from the cervical side. The entrance of the graft is between the diagastic muscle and the hypoglossal nerve. This is a graft entrance. Okay, from the cervical side, okay, using a digit finger, okay, insert the finger and make a blunt dissection, not sharp dissection. Okay. The first medical model is the steroid process. Okay, firstly, you can touch steroid process then create a wide field, then move to anterolateral. Okay, also we can touch pterygoid plate. Okay, this is the origin of the lateral pterygoid muscles. Okay, then move to laterally. Okay, like this. Okay, this is the Root. Okay, first medical model is through the process and touch the pterygoid plate and go to lateral, anterolaterally. But also, this is just lateral pterygoid muscles. Okay, from cranial side, pterygoid clump come from here. Okay, so we can touch the chip of the pterygoid clump from the cranial side. Okay, like, like this. Then using a guide, using a finger as a guide, just push the clump to the cranial uh, cervical side, like this. Okay. Then catch chest tube, 24 French chest tube, and catch. Then pull to the cranial side. So we can create a graft tunnel easily. Okay, this is a graft root. This is a temporal muscle. This is a lateral graft. Okay, come, come. This is a lateral pterygoid muscle. Come, come. This is medial pterygoid muscle. This is masseter muscle, temporal muscle, lateral pterygoid muscle. And come, come. This is, come, come to neck. Okay, this is how to create graft tunnel. Okay, also, I emphasize the good to useful techniques. Brain surface MCA pressure monitoring. Okay. I perform STA M4 bypass before a high flow bypass. Okay, so called assist bypass. Okay, the purpose of STA MCA bypass is a, one is a insurance bypass. Okay, because RA anastomosis M2, 
Okay, if you aim to occlusion too long, the risk of ischemic complication. Okay, so first we perform distal part of M2, usually select M4. Okay, this bypass is more easy and less invasive. Okay, so if perform this bypass, M2 occlusion not so difficult, dangerous. Okay, so called insurance bypass. Okay, another purpose is uh, to measure MCA pressures. Okay, this is a ST common trunk. One branch connect to uh, an osmosis through M4, and another other branch connect to pressure transducers. Okay, so we can measure MCA pressure directly during surgery. Okay, this is a video. Okay. Sorry. Okay, this is a parietal branch. Okay, insert cannula. Yeah, this is a parietal branch, anastomosis, and connect to pressure into the transducers. Okay, upper wave of systemic blood pressure, MCA pressure. Okay, before opening the lock, firstly, block ICA. If the collaborative flow is not good, MC pressure decreases. Okay, it means no collateral. Okay, we can't block the ICA without graft. Okay, now open graft. Okay, now open graft. Okay, if the graft patency is good, this pressure Increasing gradually. Okay, like this. Okay, if you don't have ICD or a Doppler, okay, we can confirm graph patency, these techniques. Okay, this is a finally occluded ICA. Okay. Okay, this is uh, all steps of the graft, graft surgery. Such graphic head, neck, or arms. Okay, after draping. If you have a micro two microscope and the two surgical trims, start on both sides is useful to shorten the operation time. Okay, but only one surgeon firstly start harvesting radial artery. This is a skin incision. Harvesting the radial artery start distal part because this part running shallow layers easy to find. Okay, this is radial artery. Also, we use a so-called bipolar coagulation technique. Okay, they go into to, between two muscles, brachial radial muscle, flexor carpal radial muscles. Okay. Firstly, dissect only superior wall of the graft from distal to proximal. Then using the vascular tapes and give a slight tension and lift up. Then harvest surround all surrounding of the arteries. Radial tree has a many tiny muscle branches. Okay, coagulation and cut. Okay. 
Please take care. Aparison, injury. Okay, usually we need 20 centimeter for ECM to bypass. Then move to cranium. Okay, this is STA harvesting. Okay, these techniques also we must take care of thermal damage of the arteries. Then common trunk, frontal branch, parietal branch. Then perform usual total temporal craniotomy. But this surgery, we must take off a middle horse bone as much as possible. Okay, for graft root. Okay, then move to cervical dissection. This section is similar to carotid and arterectomy. Okay, this is a hypoglossal nerve, diagastric muscle, ECA, ICA. Okay, for radial graft bypass, no need of exposure, common carotid. Only use external and internal carotid. Okay, this is a graft tunnel between diagastric muscle, hypoglossal nerve. Okay, using a finger. Make a blunt dissection. Touch straight process, period prep. From the cranial side, just insert K clamp. Just lateral to lateral pterygoid mass. Touch the chips of the K clamp and push to the cervical. Okay, you can see the tip of the K clamp here. And catch the chest tubes. They end draw from cervical to cranium. Okay, easy. This is a graft tunnels. Okay, open dura, split children fissure. This is M2. For recipient for radial artery, this is recipient for STA. They first we perform STA M4 bypass. Okay, never take radial artery just before anastomosis. Okay, now take the Radial artery. This is a so called pressure distinction technique. Inflate high pressure artery line inside the graft. It's a useful technique to prevent vessel spasm. Okay, but some also the early occlusion, the cause of the early occlusion. Then tie up silk thread and graft. This silk inside the chest tube and pull from the cervical side. Okay, we can easily end the graft from cranium to cervical. Okay, then inflate the heparin to resolve kinking or twisting. Okay, this is very important procedure. Okay. M2 RA graft first. You can never start ECA RA. Then take off chest tubes. Then perform ECA RA. Anastomosis. 
Okay, this anastomosis is no risk of cerebral ischemia. Okay, now perform M3 pressure monitoring. Okay, insert and connect to pressure introducer. In the block here, okay, we can measure MC pressure directly. It's MC pressure, upper wave systemic blood pressure. Okay, now block ICA. In this case, is no collateral. So MC pressure decreases, no wave. Now open graft. Okay, MC pressure gradually increase. Okay, usually come back 70 to 80% before occlusion. Okay, that's enough. That means graft patency is good. Also, ICG is useful for confirm graft patency. <laughs> then finally, ligate ICA. Okay, just finish. Okay, no need to touch aneurysm itself. Okay, only create a graft and ligation of IC, cervical ICA. Also, no need trapping. Okay, someone recommend trapping. Okay, distal ICA. But usually only proximal is enough. Okay. Okay. Okay, my experience over 100, get the growth patency around 98% and complication rate 4%. Okay, this surgery is not so invasive, but not dangerous. If you perform bypass safely. Okay, I see cabinet giant aneurysm can be treated safely by lateral graft bypass along with cervical ICA ligation. Okay, no need to trap in. Okay, brain surface pressure monitoring using STMCA bypass is a useful technique to confirm graft patency during surgery if you don't have ICG or Doppler. Okay, thank you for your attention.